Hey there, sweet friends. I'm so glad that you came to join me today as we talk about Christmas and part of the story. Some more of the story gets unfolded today. I'm so excited to find out what it is. I brought my Bible where every word is true and we are going to dive in to Luke chapter 2, 1 through 7 to find out a little bit more, another piece to the story of Christmas. But before we do that, we're going to open it up to John 3.16, which is what we are hiding in our hearts this month, the month of December. So here we go. If you remember it, say it loud and proud. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. John 3.16. God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. John 3.16. Great job. Great job. So our story is going to be with Joseph and Mary. And they were on their way to Bethlehem. And they were traveling and Mary is super pregnant. She had Jesus in her tummy still. She's super pregnant and she was on a donkey and Joseph needed to find some place for them to stay. So he went to the different places in Bethlehem and he knocked on the door. Here's one. He knocked on the door and they answered, and he said, do you have any place for us to stay? And he got a big fat, nope, we don't have any place to stay. So he went to the next place. Hello, do you have any place for us to stay? He asked. And they said, no, we don't have any place for you to stay. And finally, he went to a, one inn and he knocked on the door. And he said, do you have any place for us to stay? We need a place to stay. And the innkeeper said, there's no place to stay in here, but you can go to my stable. And there's some clean straw and hay there for you. And you can, you can stay there. We're out of the cold and out of the weather and lay down. So they decided to go to the stable. Now, Hmm, a stable, that would be quiet from people, but what? who lives in a stable? What lives in a stable? That's right, animals live in a stable. What kind of animals do you think were there? Moo, you think there were any cows there? Moo, probably. How about, here I have little sheepies here. Do you think there were any sheep? Bah, bah, bah. Probably some sheep. Maybe some chickens. Maybe another donkey. Hee haw, hee haw, hee haw. Perhaps. Were you born in a stable? No, probably not. I don't think so. Jesus was born that night in a stable. He came so humbly. God came to earth and he was born in a stable. He was very humble to be born as a baby. Here's a nice picture of them in the stable with some clean straw. The animals welcomed him. It was a glorious night. God is so good to give us his son. Jesus is God's son. And Jesus loves you, and Jesus loves me. And I hope that you can hold on to that and know that and enjoy this Christmas season. Thinking about it and talking about it with your families, Jesus is God's son. Let's thank him. Dear God, we thank you that Jesus was born. Thank you for this very, very special time of year, Christmas time, when we celebrate Jesus' birthday. 
He's so special. Jesus is so special because he is your son. We love you, God, because you first loved us. Thank you for loving us. Amen. You all go and have a fantastic day. And remember, Jesus loves you. And so do I. Bye-bye.